Biden's crazy expensive new bus. President Joe Biden began traveling the United States in a shiny new state-of-the-art armored bus as he is elected as the new president of the United States. So how much did that Biden's bus, nicknamed Ground Force One by some pundits, actually cost? A whopping 1.1 million US dollars. The US Secret Service purchased the Biden's bus from White's Creek, Tennessee-based Hemphill Brothers Coach Incorporated, so the president could safely travel the country in, the agency told several media outlets. We can safely say that the US president is well sorted transport wise. Air Force One provides transport over large distances, there's Marine One for shorter distances, and of course the well documented beast. The bus model H3-4V5 VIP is 11 feet 2 inches high and has 505 cubic feet of interior space. The luxury vehicle is painted plain black and isn't stamped with a single campaign or White House logo. The Obama bus is a remarkably safe for its occupant. The bus comes with a suite of security precautions including run flat tires, armored exteriors and heavily reinforced glass. But what's inside? Why is it so expensive? Be with us to treat your curiousness. Ground Force One is the unofficial code name for the black armored buses used to transport the President of the United States and other dignitaries. The coaches are part of the federal government fleet and the second bus was used by Republican presidential nominee Mitt Romney during the campaign leading up to the 2012 presidential election and then deployed as a backup for visiting dignitaries. Obama began using the bus in the summer of 2011 to travel the country and hold town hall style meetings where he discussed the nation's poor economy and job creation. According to the federal government procurement records, the secret service contract with the Hemphill Brothers Coach Corporated was actually for two armored buses and a total of 2.19 million US dollars. The secret service planned to use the buses beyond the presidential race for other dignitaries, though the agency's most important mission is to protect the free world leader. The secret service never had its own buses before Obama was president. The agency leased buses instead and equipped them to protect the president. The newly designed model X3-45 VIP3 axle shell was designed by Quebec Canada-based specialist firm Prevost Car and then fitted out by Hempel Brothers Coach Company in Nashville, Tennessee to provide 505 square feet of interior space, including flashing police-style red and blue lights on the front and on the back. It was then further outfitted by the Secret Service with secure communications and other specialized equipment. The two buses cost 1.1 million each and were leased from Hemphill Brothers during President Barack Obama's administration. In addition to the security features, the bus comes equipped with a full suite of office equipment, including phones, television, radio and internet. Just like the Beast, only a select few will ever sit behind the wheel of Ground Force One. Ground Force One allows the president to be transported comfortably and safely through a series of more remote areas, such as during Obama's bus campaign through Ohio and Pennsylvania in 2012. Since all the windows except the ones at the front of the bus are heavily tinted, President Biden has to stand next to the driver in order to wave at the crowds. It's unclear what Ground Force One's interior looks like, but a White House aide once described a seating area with captain's chair and a couch. The bus also makes transportation logistics easier as the president can immediately go from Air Force One to Ground Force One. The bus comes with a suite of security precautions, including run flat tires, armored exteriors and heavily reinforced glass. Ground Force One comes with a fire suppression system, oxygen tanks to provide breathable air in the case of a chemical attack and an extra supply of the president's blood in case he's injured. While the passenger in chief of Ground Force One rode in the spotlight of political superstar status, the coach's driver's exact identity remains unknown. However, we do know for a fact that the driver was an officer for the US Army Transportation Agency, serving in the White House Transportation Agency, perhaps the most visible federal agency no one has ever heard of. According to its mission statement, the WHTA provides a fleet of motor vehicles, master drivers and transportation services to the first family, White House staff and official visitors of the first family in the Washington DC area. In addition, the WHDA provides a wide range of support services 
for all sorts of presidential ground transportation, including motorcades and cargo handling for the president and people who travel with the president, both inside the US and abroad, as directed by the White House Military Office. The chairman of the Republican National Committee, Reince Priebus, criticized Obama for riding around in a bus that was made partly in another country while the United States continues to endure high unemployment. Rupert Murdoch's New York Post, meantime, took issue for the same reason. Whipping in a headline, can nuclear head Obama's busted. President Obama is barnstorming the heartland to boost US jobs in a taxpayer financed luxury bus the government had custom built in Canada, the paper reported. However, neither Prebus nor The Post mentioned the fact that former President George W. Bush campaigned aboard a bus made partly by the same Quebec firm during his 2004 Yes, America Can tour across the country. Do you think it's a safe ride for President and his family? Let us know your opinion in the comment section. Always remember to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so you never miss future uploads like this one. Bye!